Uh, we're connected to the twits. We're on the twits. Oh. Is what's going on. That's what I'm saying. Hey, look. There we go. There we go. We're on we're on the we're on the Twitter vision. Hey the, there, Twit. I'm on the Teletwits right now. How are you guys? Let me get you uh let me get you set up right over here, Mr. Professor Justin Robert Rubles the third. I just want to let everybody know that today's show is going to be very ordinary. Nothing. No, you did not put forth any ep- special effort for this no. this episode. There's no special effort, and everybody should be panicked about the lack of pre show that we've done. Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, I saw those tweets though. People were just like, "I'm really worried because normally Brian and Justin they got all these ideas and shenanigans, and I'm all involved in helping with them." And but now there's none of that. I just want to let you know that we are scheduled to play a game called the Three Legged Race in the second act. Don't, don't forget the the egg toss. We got an egg toss. We got an egg toss going down. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, also, we have a, a musical guest to kick off the summer music series, whose name I've forgotten. Yeah, because he's so unimportant. Hopefully, I'll be able to remember it by the time that he he or she comes on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. By the time he he or she comes on, he or she comes on. Hopefully, we will know. Who they are. <laughs> that's hopefully. That's that's all we can hope for, Mr. Justin. Yes. We also have a game called Beaner Beaner. And uh, I don't know how it's played or what the rules are, but it's called <laughs> Beaner Beaner. And it's happening tonight. <laughs> there's a, there's a sack races where we put you in a sack and, and beat someone. And race sacks. Which is like a sack race, except it's racially divided. That's right. It's like, which way, which race has got the race to the race the sack? <laughs> let me uh, let me move you into. Uh, let me ask you, audio wise, uh, is there like because there is actually a gigantic wall unit air conditioning blowing toward me? Hold on, be quiet. I can hear it. But let me try. Little, like no, well, just a little bit though. All right, hold on. I still think I hear it. Then F word it because it's definitely going to get hot up in this piece. Uh, yeah. Is it, is it hot over there right now? Uh, dude, Florida does not have a spring. <laughs> we go from winter to summer. One day winter leaves and summer just shows up and pushes you up against the car and starts making out with you and grabbing your privates. Uh, so uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, uh, I was going to talk about the weather here, but, uh, there's a substantial chance that all of a sudden, normally in the past, when all of a sudden the signal drops and everything's done with, it's because I have a shabby computer or something, right? Yeah. Not this time. It's no. because I'm likely killed by the giant black horizon thunderstorm right outside. We can just say horizon thunderstorm, Brian. Okay, no okay. <laughs> but, but no, but but that's no but that's that's the moment. I love I love it. it's it's like sunset and it's just like it's like nighttime on the horizon because all it's just right, big, all right, okay, okay, you just okay, and you know, absence of sun, please. <laughs> this is a, <laughs> absence of of light. <laughs> I know I got you. All right, it's all right. Just saying, um, we're on twit now, Brian. Are you we can't, that's. The same sort of hard edge humor for which to become. Sir. Now, TSS Eloic says, oh, you know, I did not take a picture, Jammer B. I apologize. For those of you guys who don't know, we hang out in the unfiltered chat room because it gets a little bit floody in there and a little bit off topic. And uh, those are things that uh, that are better tolerated in that in that setup. Hold on. Let me. I'm sorry. I've got to try to set up all this business here. There we go. Look. Hey, Justin, look, it's me. I'm your conscience. You should be ashamed of yourself for all those things. This is exactly what happens. Uh, Oh, man, I was going to make a joke, and then I remembered we were on the (laughs) twin. Fill in what you thought I was going to say and write it in the chat room, and eventually I'll just say your name. (laughs) That's the, uh, uh, yes. That's the. This is what I see when, and I'm doing this. And Brian's over my shoulder with my conscience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, you don't have a beard this season. No, I don't. Is that because your team that you love so much is bad? Um, no, you know, really, aside from that one, and every once in a while, like, like in playoff runs, I'll grow a beard. But largely that's not because I 
you know, it's 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 kind of because I'm lazy, and now I have a reason to be lazy. Uh, but the the shave was because Mother's Day, so I shaved because of Mother's Day, and uh, my mom didn't mind if I have a set beard, but if I, I had like the kind of the halfway beard, and I'm like, ah, screw it, I'll shave it. Yeah. But of course now, 48 hours later, I already have a halfway beard. But when uh, when was last when's the last time you did the full beard thing that you did? I don't know. I mean, to be honest, like really, everyone else around me pays far more attention to my beard than I do. Like it just there's the, it, it, it ebbs and flows. Not unlike the moon, Brian. There are phases to my beard. Well, the thing that confuses me is because you're right. I mean, you say that you don't pay attention to your beard, but everyone else does. Yes. Uh, and so explain this then. <laughs> you're throwing your life away. No, I'm in love. <laughs> it's not like people write songs about your beard, Justin. No, no, it's not. <laughs> What's always weird about this is how early this came in this whole NSFW wave. <laughs> Jerry's beard, oh Jerry's beard, I've loved you since you first appeared. Some people laughed and called you weird, but I hope you never get sheared. Oh, Jerry's beard, Jerry's beard, Jerry's beard. And it's not like in this rock opera about a love for your beard. They don't have some kind of antagonist to who loves your beard more than you do, but but maybe in a less thoughtful way. Well, they, they both love I mean, my, my beard is really... It is it is a character in this drama, much in the way God was in the Crusades. Like you he's know, just like, is, whoa, is, fellas, whoa, this is not what I want. Which of the well, commandments did you not read? By that I mean kind of not existing, at least in terms of a an actor that plays any part in the actual conflict. It's two people who <laughs> profess to love my beard more than the other one, and and they have an an epic, uh, if spoiler alert, anticlimactic duel. <laughs> It only it only goes down from there, really. I really feel now I'm actually kind of upset because like we have had so many less rock operas since we became NSFW. Yeah, you know what? I, I I believe since NSFW launched, we've had some musicals, right? We've had a little bit of we've had jingles. We've yeah. um We've heard, uh, uh, in fact, Crash Kincaid does a lot of awesome stuff where he uh, uses the synth voice to sing songs. We had theme songs for, for fictitious programs that we never put together, right? Yes. We have a lot of those. Rock operas, though, we had a 100% decline in rock operas to this point. Yeah. You know what? If I was a politician and I wanted to get elected immediately, I would. I would. <laughs> if, I, if you were running against you? Yes, exactly. <laughs> That'd be so exactly. funny if we actually had this show was voted on. Like the host <laughs> could lose their job. I could be kicked off the show if I did not campaign correctly. It was like Congress. You're like, uh, well, that's kind of, hold on, let me, I'm sorry. I'm still setting up some of these other things. So right now I got twos of me's right here. And then let me set one of these up with you over here, sir. Ba-doom, boom. Uh, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how do you explain the complete lack of rock operas here on NSFW? Do the right thing. Oh, Brushwood. Yeah. Problem solved. See? It's freaking simple. You know simple. the funniest thing is that if you dig around the NSFW show Gmail, there actually is the video that we requested that Sarah Laid make for that first uh, time that we did that. Oh. Where she actually is, like, taking off her glasses and looking in. The, See, uh, and if I was smart, if I was smart, I would have I would have found that and, and remade the, the problem solvers things. But... You want to know what? Listen, that ship has sailed. And right. Now we are only communicating with that ship okay. via satellite Wi-Fi. Because right now, for the most part, it's three-legged races, uh, potato sacks. Uh, you got to catch uh, balloons. We're throwing balloons, but don't, don't burst them. You got to catch them from very far away from one another. We're going we're gonna to play uh, Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar. Yes. Who, and then. And then after, Couldn't and this be. is something that I've argued against him doing, but Brian, uh, I know you felt very um, 
uh, very strong about this, and I don't get what kind of artistic thing, but Brian is going to read Mein Kampf verbatim <laughs> on the show during the second act. This is the point. You, <laughs> what do you what do you sit at home and like and like and like dream these up in advance? Like what what could make Brian twist in the wind to make him more comfortable than usual? <laughs> Terrible. Uh, listen, I don't. You're the one. I just got an email, and I can show it. I can bring it up on the screen. <laughs> you can't, Justin. Not. You cannot. You're gonna. It's gonna be hastily <laughs> scrawled. You're gonna hold up a piece of paper. You're like, I got this email in handwriting, printed on a post-it <laughs> note, and sent to me. <laughs> okay, don't don't do it. You're I right. got this email. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> then I then print it on my hand. Oh my gosh. Hey, look at this. People are asking for photos. This is this is what it looks like outside my door right now. Like somebody somebody heard us saying that. Somebody broke outside. into my house. <laughs> somebody <laughs> took this picture. <laughs> somebody w- walked in outside after me mentioning how crazy it is. And in fact, it's even labeled as uh, there's a black horizon in Pflugerville now. See? That's what I was talking about. It's like it's freaking dark, like impending. All right. <laughs> Why do we talk about clouds before every every NSFW show now? There's a it's, lot of cloud talk. In fact, that's going to be we're going to do another podcast called Cloud Talk with cloud B talk. and J. That's right. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be letters B, a letter N. Actually, it'll be J. it'll be it'll be called uh, Cloud Nine. N e i n. Like 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 no. And then that'll be what kind of clouds you seen today? I saw black clouds. I saw white clouds. That about wraps up cloud nine with B and J. We'd like to take Squarespace. Uh, yes. Okay. Hey, do we want to give anyone a hint as to what we want to see for one of our sponsors? Or I guess we'll drop it early in the show. We'll see what we can come up with. Um, for one of our sponsors? Well, you know who our sponsors are. And you know that sometimes we ask our crowd to do clever projects to promote the sponsors, to let them know how beloved they are and show yes. their appreciation. Yes. Part. I was wondering if you had come up with anything. By the way, along our, our sponsors aren't secret, right? <laughs> well, no. You know what's funny is they kind of they kind of are in that like you, like I watch the chat room, right? And when we yeah. when we name the sponsor, like they shout the name like it's at a rock concert. You know, they're all like they're all Squarespace, Squarespace, yes. Squarespace. Uh or like Amazing Ghost pointed out, Disney's prom. Disney's prom. <laughs> oh, did you ever did you ever share what was in the email last week from Frederic? I think I might have talked about it during when we were doing the online ethicist thing. But yeah, so uh we got the email last week for our sponsors from Frederic who specifically pointed out that Paramount Pictures nor Marvel Studios had bought any screen time or any uh, ad time this week. So Thor no, was not to be represented. Right, but but th- that was the best part. It was specifically said, you know, Thor is not sponsored. You know, like, <laughs> like you know, totally knew what you're about to pimp next. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, do did we get the fruits of the ninja labor? For yes, the three-legged race. Oh, we got ninja fruit. Let me tell you, say we're a fruit ninja, <laughs> is what we are, and we're making an app. It's going to be out on the iPhone. It's going to be amazing. Fruit ninja, fruit the, ninja. the movie, the movie. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> here, uh, this one Woo. right here is what we're going to use. Oh, I did not get your thing in there. It's in the I'm thing. I'm looking at the thing. See, this is this is so not helpful to. Okay, here we go. Uh, and by the way, that was not my thing. I uh, someone sent that to me. What the thing that you sent? The thing that's in the uh, the somebody sent a, a fantasy. Oh, I thought you made this. No, it's uh, somebody else. Oh. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, and I don't know if he knows either. <laughs> Wow, that's weird. What's there, funny is I was I was I was making the mistake of actually listening to what you were saying and then actually believing you, and then I got <laughs> smart real fast because I thought since the two of us were speaking, we were having a rational discourse, and then I realized I'm talking to Justin Robert Young, and most likely everything he's saying is a lie. 
<laughs> but at least he's saying it in a manageable volume, so everything's fine as far as I'm sure. concerned. Sure. Well, in terms of the tolerability for everybody else watching. It's like the weather report. It's the Justin Robert Young tolerability index, where it's just like... <laughs> Man, could you imagine? That's a. I just wish. I wish that I, as a kid, could be as could know as much as I would now. Because that's the kind of thing I would do. I would make a weather report okay. for my mom each morning of how would annoying you? I'm going to be. I want to point out to you, Brian. By the way, your mic is in the wrong direction. Oh, don't you dare! Are they saying that in the <laughs> chat room? If they're saying that in the chat room, I'm about ready to let. The, I'm about ready to explode some business here. I'm about to be a mushroom cloud laying sucker, sucker, sucker. I'm a race car sucker. in the red. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, every time, every time someone says that my microphone's turned the wrong way, I'm Superfly TNT. Exactly. I'm a mushroom cloud laying mother, 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 <laughs> mother, 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 mother. <laughs> so, okay, let me see if let me see what happens if I play this. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. But his first name is Chip. I have no idea what his last name is. Uh, Chip Dastardly, I believe, if I'm not confused. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. We'll see. You said maybe, but I heard, hey, babe. And I was just like, hey, babe. Who, who are you talking about? Chip, Who's babe? babe? I don't know. I thought I thought maybe you were saying B, but then it was like it was like B B. I, eh. I like nothing. maybe it was the Beeb, like 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 the BBC. It was like, like Justin Bieber is what I'm saying. Have? It was specifically Justin Bieber is what I was getting at. <laughs> Hello, Justin Bieber, the Beeb, the Beeb. Hey, can we give a special shout out for someone? We don't do that very often, but you know who's in the audience that has not been in the audience live in a very long time? Um. Amelia Earhart. No, nope, no. Nope. I'm gonna get. You know what? Here's the funny part: is I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna give you a hint, and you're gonna be able to totally get it just from this hint. Hold on. Okay. Um, I don't know if you will actually. <laughs> now that I'm play, now I'm about to play it. Uh, there we go. I'm actually gonna play the wrong one, but you'll get it anyway. I think. This certainly is not getting more convoluted by the second. Well, unlike <laughs> for sure. any of our other stuff, right? So that's what I'm saying is just business we as We do whatever you. we want to whomever we want at all times. Moon and night unite. Lock in. No one can defeat the quad laser. It is over now. The bullet is, is it, is it Jay is Brushwood? No, no. No, it's not Jay Brushwood. Jumping is it? Is useless. Do you guys know how to work this TV? I tried. I, I don't know. It's right. Mitzula, the old schooler, the Mitzula. Mike Rula. Mitzula. Oh my God. In the I chat. didn't realize that he hasn't been in the chat room. No, he hasn't. In fact, he just tweeted off uh, spending my night off with Schwood and Justin Robert Young. I tried the button, but it doesn't go. Go back inside. Oh, you guys are fighting. We're fighting. Right. Okay, Moonanites. Looks like I've got a little moonbeam of my own. Well, show all right, so um, I guess sh should I give a call over to um, Miss Miss Lane? Sure. Is she? Do we know? Is she in studio? Is she not? Do we know? No. Oh, she's she's going to be calling from home, and mm -hmm. we did okay. confirm that she is aware that she's on the episode. So, uh, uh, Andy and Atko, none, not here, my friend, with your mutton chops. Isn't that what happened last time? We we didn't not have Andy and Atko on. No, she thought Andy and Atko was going to be on. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? <laughs> What's funny, I was, I was like, no, we had Colleen on as a replacement. Are you saying Colleen has mutton chops? What are you no, saying? Oh, st oh, now stop it, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a hard booking. Yes, Gigaloop wants uh, to know. Yeah, no, people, uh, people in the chat room back me up if that, was, if that was the case. I thought that was the case. I don't know. People are like, that sounds kind of awesome, though. Can we get, can we get Andy on? I would, love, I would love if Andy not covered I mean, he's hilarious. I've I've been a big Anatco fan. Oh man, that's we should follow up on the uh, on the Austin uh, trash dump naming thing that they did. I'm sure I'm sure friggin' lead singer of Limp Biscuits one that did it. Yeah. By the way, can we also point out that we have like a shocking amount of guests booked for the next couple of weeks? Uh, well, we got next week. We got C. Robert Cargill, formerly. Mm -hmm. The film critic. Now the filmmaker. Exactly. I'm sorry. What I meant to say was special report. 
This just in over the wire. We have C. Robert Cargill, a.k.a. Massaworm. Who else do we got? Uh, the week after that, don't we have the self-help guru? We do. This guy's a nut job, man. Oh, all right. Again, I, no, I, I looked him up. I, I don't him want up. to turn this into a cloud situation. Okay, no, okay, okay. no. I looked him up. I looked him up, and uh, this is... This will be the weirdest episode. I'm not kidding you, Justin. This will be the weirdest episode we've ever done. Because I'm going to be on the road He's during it. He's an eccentric it. guy. You're going to be in Vegas. Uh, I'm going to be here. Uh, and we're going to be uh, talking to, I don't know, do we want to say it? No, 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 no. Because they're gumshoes. We're all about surprises lately. They're gumshoes. And they're, they're, they're super sleuths. And right, before we can even sleuths. say it, they'll be all like, he's in Italy and he stole the statue. <laughs> and he's he stole got the Parthenon. That's right. Gumshoes, follow the clues. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mitzula, the Mike Ruler, uh, two weeks from now, I'm going to be in Vegas for the IMX convention. So that'll, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, and there's so many things I want to say. There's so much stuff going on, man. A lot of stuff. Uh, also, let me also say that I have been very excited with uh, how the summer music series has gone so far. Uh, so far, yeah. we haven't done a single one of them yet. Well, in terms of booking people in the future and, and how excited Chat Realm is, uh, Chat Realm has gone above and beyond. I've gotten, since we started talking about it, I've gotten a whole ton of people sending in their favorite YouTube artists on who they wish could be on the show. Uh, keep doing that either at reply me on Twitter at Justin R. Young or email in to NSFWShow gmail.com. Or if you want to be super double brownie point, super proactive, uh, email them or hit them up on uh, on YouTube uh, yourself and then just tell them to email uh, NSFW. Show are, you, are you putting up the signal? Are you putting up the signal? Yeah, well, that's it's worked. I mean, so far we've got there it is. Go. There it is. That's that's it. You drop you drop the signal. We're going to full red alert. Uh, no, absolutely, man. It is super awesome. I will say that we've been in talks with uh, a, a few people. Of course, we have. Uh, we're we're just finding the right time to book uh, Mister uh, Fishstick Sandwich Burrito. Yeah, Hopefully we're going to have him in studio in Austin. Yeah, so try and. I'd love for that to be. I'd like week. to get some bigger movie stars, some people who have like been in some big action movies. Like these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't pull in get a car and cut on you. I can see me in the return of Uncle Benoni. We're in Uganda. Atabara money movie industry, but I say no. Action party movie. Okuva Mramon, Freedom Production, Bana Bakusanya who killed the Captain Alex, Bruno Bakurete, the Omulebe, Omulebe, Action Party Movie, Whatever who killed the Captain Alex, the boarding the rest of the team, so called Abequeno, so called Abequeno Baba, Nani Stopi, that the action scene. You know what? The more I the more I look at these, the more I, like, deeply love them. Like, I just want them to continue to make trailers for me forever. I don't even care if they if they ever make the movies. I just want to watch trailers of those forever. Uh, two thoughts. Number one, I agree. Number two, I don't quite know how that fits into the summer music series. Oh, because, oh, yeah, I was thinking of the summer. We were talking about who we have booked. We were talking about big names being booked. And I said, I want for, big, big For the music stars. series. We were talking about in general big. We also do a summer movie series, and we were talking about people being booked. And I said action stars. It's it's called it's called taking gold handed to me from the chat realm and trying to put it in a little vehicle that it could drive itself right onto the show. There we go. All right. So, what were you saying? Uh, uh yeah. Anyway, so it'll be fun, 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 fun. Now you know it. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so we're five minutes out we gotta what's what's so miss lane's sarah can you give me um i don't know it sarah lane's personal phone number to give out over the air i don't know that <laughs> as is evidenced by the fact that she's still committed to appear on the show yeah, I was under the impression she was going to be in studio. No, 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 no. She says she's going to do it from from home. <clears throat> See that? I did not know. Yeah, Jammer B can uh, can be up with who to uh, who to call here. Then we can 
you know, we'll do that thing with the, that. So, wait a minute. Why would somebody say this? This tells me that there's some show I didn't watch. Now that Sarah Lane is bu- dating Paul Giamatti, she can't be on the show. Where did that come from? That I don't know. <laughs> In fact, that's going to be my new catchphrase. Brian, <laughs> that I don't know. For As everything. if to insinuate that I do know something. Yes, exactly. Not the case. Exactly. Um, well, crud. Maybe we'll just get the ballerina on? Act <laughs> like it's Sarah Lane? Well, we would need to book Natalie Portman. And then Natalie Portman would not actually do it, so her body double, Sarah Lane, would step in and do the show. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm down. I said I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with you. Woo! <laughs> and the Skype hangs up. My... I'm done. Let enough of your laughs, Jerry. I had to do a goddamn show. And we're out. <laughs> uh, man, I, I let me. You know what? I'll bet you anything. There's an email from her that says, "Hey, which do I call on the on the thing?" Uh, blah, blah, blah. that's a good. Oh, and it looks like she mm. canceled. What's that? She canceled. No, no, no. <laughs> Because she's right here on the line. What's going on, Sarah Lane? What up, peeps? There you go. Let me get you busted out your own window right over here. Um, I'm just going to grab my uh, headset because my audio will be a lot better. You got it. We will wait patiently now that we know that you for sure are definitely, definitely on the show. Oh, did you not believe me? I believed you. I never stopped believing. But meanwhile, no. Justin was no. like, he was oh, like, right. I'm selling the show to make a parking lot. And I was like, don't do it. I believe in Sarah. And you're like, this show will never amount to anything. <laughs> How would I sell the show to make a parking lot? <laughs> I tried to explain it was a terrible business decision, but you're just like, I know everything. <laughs> of the show, I'm going to buy another lot and build a parking lot. I'm not even going to pave this show over and make a parking lot. <laughs> Okay, let me actually. I'll go ahead and. So I don't know if you know this, Justin, but you, what 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 camera are you using there? Eyesight. Okay, so uh, the the eyesight is closer to you on this side. Which, by the way, I do like the the background on there. But but you're closer on it. So what I've done is I've put you in four by three capture instead. So that well, then now you're just being creepy. Yeah, no, that's kind of my move, Brian. That's a. Uh, that's a, I call it the, the J-R-Y creep. Yeah. The creeper for short. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's, it's kind of what I, I like to do. I like to business meetings, social interactions, uh, mixers. Make people uncomfortable. Bar You're, and bat mitzvahs. It's funny. Just lean in closely and give them a piercing stare for which uh, they will not soon forget. Does this look about right? <laughs> oh, wait, so- dang it. I have it set on autoplay. <laughs> I don't want to play on take. I just want to see from one, better right. one. How does this sound? Does this sound better? You know what? Oh. It's. I think I think the room mic sounded better. Let me hear you again. Really? Hey hey hey! The big bad supercomputer. That's. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this. This is how I test on the palette. I'm just like, mm, better one, better two. <laughs> Better one, better two. Uh, I'm going to say you sound fine either way. How about that? Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. What are you talking about? I, I think it makes perfect sense. No, you're setting, you're setting the places right there. Um, okay, I'll be back in one second. It's, it's 6.59, so I have a minute. You have one minute. You do. Oh, no, take your time. <laughs> How a year has changed us. <laughs> <laughs> now we can only dream of being that retarded, Brian. <laughs> okay, so let me sit on play on take. And then uh, what are you feeling? Are you feeling this guy right here? 
Uh, I actually, I'll tell you what, I almost prefer the Lionsgate one. All right. So it is. That's that's kind of my, my move. This guy right here. Right on. All right, you know what? If she's got a minute, then I got a minute. Why don't you talk about people? Hi, everybody. Leave- my name's Justin Robert Young. Leave both of you. Uh, I'm alone here in the uh, in the middle. Two empty screens. Getting a text message from our musical guest. Hopefully it's not saying I can't do the show. Actually, it just says I'm good. You got my message, and now we're ready to rock and roll. Okay. That is hilarious. Um, I, t- I turned off my uh, stupid DVR because the last time we did a show from home, I had terrible connection, and I think it was because we were recording the show at the same time. I don't that, know. That works with your bandwidth, the DVR? I it's guess, all the cable, I guess it's all the cable just, yeah, the connection cable. in it. Yeah. I, I never thought about that. Although you are, you're a little, you're a little choppy. Am I? Yeah, just I could, a little bit. I, I could, I could pop, just plug into my Ethernet. Maybe that would be the way to go. Maybe, okay. Come on. All right. I'm going to take you with me. to Cable Town. Awesome. <laughs> and we're getting some pixelization from Sarah Lane. Yeah, she's going yeah, to yeah, hardline yeah. it. She's going to hardline it right on. Hey, uh, I'll tell you what. If you got a text from our musical guest, then could you have? Uh, could you get from our musical guest his Skype or her? Is uh, there or her Skype? There the 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 groups <laughs> the androgynous. That's right. Can you get? You know. Are you are you talking to me? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm, t- <laughs> I'm talking to just. <laughs> Okay, just making sure. Yes, like, he is. To do something. And we're all disgusted by his actions. <laughs> what I love is that the chat room takes exactly no time to say, oh, yeah, dude, Sky got bought by Microsoft, so now it sucks, of course. That's why it's broken. <laughs> right. But Steve Bomber, orig- like, just immediately, like, ah, I own it now, kicked open the hood of Skype as an object, and like a gremlin just started pulling out hoses. <laughs> So uh, we need we need our musical guest groups manager's Skype handle and get that to to Jammer B, John Slanin. <laughs> he sounded like Mister Plinkett. <laughs> God, I'm John Slanin. <laughs> we need it's to get a Skype. Level. Get it to our John Slanin. Uh, this is actually pretty funny right here because uh, we just got word. That as part of the initiative with Skype, they're going to fold in the uh, their .NET franchise with Skype, and the new service will be called Skynet. So I think it's going to go over very well. <laughs> this is how it begins. Uh, Somewhere, Sarah Connor is reading TechCrunch and saying they way overpaid. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Runs right out of her living room. <laughs> Do you think there's a uh, – hold on. Do you think there's uh, – how many actual Sarah Connors do you think there are in the world, like like women whose name is Sarah Connor? Probably a fair amount. More than more than pie? That would be awesome. If, if you ever had like a – like I mean, you've had two daughters, so you had two opportunities to name them Sarah Connor Brushwood. Oh, my God. Or just not even Brushwood. Just give her a name that – like, you don't deserve my family name. You're going to be the <laughs> salvation of the planet. <laughs> You're Sarah Connor. You're Sarah Connor. <laughs> I wonder if that's happened, actually, now that I think about it. Dude, there's no way of not naming a daughter Sarah Connor. And that's why you're never going to have a daughter. And that's why no one will ever entrust me to bear my child. <laughs> you know, when, when Tom and I went to WonderCon, I, I tried to get him to call me Sarah Connor while we were there. He wouldn't do it. He didn't think that was cute or funny. <laughs> well, boo that. That's for sure. I know. What a day. So my video is still really bad. You want, to, you want to try rebooting real quick? Yeah, I think I better. All right. I'll call you. We'll Sorry. wait patiently. Okay. Because I'll tell you what, not everyone has that status. If it was, if it was Rooker, I'd be like, you hit your mark, you give your lines. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. We directed Michael Rooker, and then he told us how bad we were directing. <laughs> he told us that we sucked at direction and that he needed to be the one in charge. 
Something tells me that uh, we're not the only people that he's done that to. <laughs> that people far more talented at directing than me or you have been told they're a terrible director oh, by so Michael awesome. Rooker. I tell you what, while we're waiting on Sarah, this is actually a good point. I'm going to stop the recording here. Um, I guess I'll just lose what we got so far. It's Nothing interesting happened, right? What? So far on the show? Nothing. Okay. And I'm now overriding that recording because nothing interesting happened. And nothing interesting will happen on this show. This is going to be a very basic, stripped-down episode for which you can predict start to finish right now. Well, fact, and it's I want everybody to write down how this episode's going to go on and then watch themselves check off one, two, three. I'll tell you what it's not like. It's not like we have highly unpredictable elements of this show. And it's not like, much like Icarus, we're trying to fly so close to the sun that there's every probability that our wings will melt and we will fall to our fiery deaths. And it's certainly not like we are starting the show now full on not knowing if two-thirds of our guests are going to be able to make it in. Wait, are we? Is our, is our... I'm, I'm, I'm including the whole group with the music. Okay. So is the person catering the whole music group the, the bean toss? <laughs> yes, the 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 sack race, uh, the sack of, race, and the bean toss is the caterer. They they there? call him the sackcutioner. He is a hard driver because he <laughs> will physically kill anyone who comes in last place in the sack race. That's how we put the NSF dubs twist on it. Is what we do. By the way, no, this is like think of this like our uh, like you know all these shows are having their season finales now, right? I'm sure you're talking about a bunch of them on on frame rate, Bry. Wait, uh, wait, what are you talking about? What's going on? A lot of shows, television shows, are having their uh, their season finales. Never heard of them. Television All shows, shows on the television. Yeah, you know, people are getting shot, yes. married, pregnant, all sorts. All the all the TV tropes that come along with the ending of a season. Yes, this is going to be nothing like that. There will uh, be no no returning uh, uh, characters. There will be no shots in the dark. No cliffhangers. All right. Nothing like that at all. Um, that's because you're going to execute your evil plan. Uh, no, we're going to have a. If my if my evil plan was have a very boring show with absolutely no. I'm not talking about possible. that boring plan. I'm, I'm talking about your your plan to destroy Twit uh, or destroy NSFW and put up a parking lot. By the way, that's at parking lot. That's squarespace. dot com. <laughs> right there. See, that's how simple well, it is. I mean, is. listen, I didn't want that to leak yet, but it's out. So the betas <laughs> out there, you can apply. It's a closed beta, uh, but we are going to be offering spaces in my parking lot, <laughs> formerly NSFW. You show. sure you turn it into? It's essentially a timeshare advertisement. The the entire hour, I'm just like, please stop, stop. And you're like, well, I'm glad stopping is important. I think you should stop and let your car park for a bit. And that's what you could do at Jury's Listen, Parking Empire. Brian, do you know how many people commute digitally in today's era? Where are they going to park? <laughs> Nowhere. Until parking lot .com. That's where. Are you there, Sarah? I am. Do you see me? I, I see not but the blackness of despair. Remember when we were uh... joking about Skynet? <laughs> Remember, that seemed like a hilarious misunderstanding. I mean, I see myself. Hold on. It, sa me? it says starting video net home. Let me turn my video off and then on, and then and then none of that really seems to do anything. I'm turning it off. On. You stop your Stop your video. Start your video. Okay. It stopped. Now we will start again. And then we're ready. Because... Hey, do you have any idea what we're doing tonight? Not an, uh, not even a clue. That is how we like it. Do you want a <laughs> hint? Yeah, sure. That's all you get. Yay. You have to figure out where that was headed next. I want to share a video. Why <laughs> will that not work? Hold on. Let me do a... It's just really, really dark in San Francisco right now. I didn't want to say anything, but there we go. I fixed it. A Everything's fine. The honest of your show was good until they started Wait employing that supernatural angle. That's hey, there I am. Sorta, mostly. Why is this happening? Why does this happen? That's uh. That's, that's what every question. teenager asks. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I that's why we got that everybody answer. listening. This book. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll say we'll just. Run. I mean, your your audio stays on the entire time. So if you if you get a little bit impressionistic in your face, we'll we'll just be like, hey, what's up, Monet? Yeah, totally. I All mean, right. that's kind of how it works in real life too. You know, you yeah. get close and it's a mess. That's that's wow, touche. That's 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 wonderfully poetic. Let me. Uh, let... I, I didn't. I didn't make that up. I think that's from, um, you know, that movie uh, with um, Alicia Silverstone, <laughs> where she wears a lot of pink. Is it the, the, the Clueless? Yeah, Clueless. That was a Clueless joke. Ooh, look at me now. God, wow, I'm almost like a monster half the time. This is cool. <laughs> maybe. Uh, speaking of Clueless, maybe it's the ghost of Brittany Murphy that is affecting your bandwidth. Oh my god, I hadn't even thought about that. That's exactly yeah, the ghost, what it is. Ghost of who? With a who who ghosted who and the what now? Well Br- Brian, died, the, the Brian, late actress Brittany a Murphy. Death joke. Oh. Well that was tacky, Justin, and I don't expect that from a show called NSFW. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna I, I didn't I didn't denigrate her. I didn't say how she died. Yeah, okay, hold on. And then uh I'm just gonna go straight from the one into the other and then it will be a go time. 